All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to a daily update of my 1000 day challenge. This is day 81. So as you realize, sadly, I'm actually even down further from yesterday. I'm actually down to 9380, and both you will see the experimental trap and also the main trading setup is going on the downhill. So there is something that I have to review it. But from what I understand, it is part of the drawdown that is expected. So I'm perfectly fine, especially for the main trading setup. But for the experimental trade setup, I may have to review the, the filtering process or filter out whether I am I taking unnecessary risk uh, by going on a shorter time frame. Yeah, so, so that's something I have to further look to. My stopover point that I do intend to have is at the 1000 mark and it's very much closing in on it. I just have to make just another four trades of $50 loss and I will hit the $1000 mark whereby I will put a stop hold onto it say for now at least one to two weeks where I re-review everything again and yeah to look into this experimental setup phase. Yeah other than that in terms of market structure wise very interestingly there was a decent retracement for S&P 500 and also for Nasdaq. You see over here there's a red uh, bearish candlestick so it does look like short term we could be retracing of course we could be finding support as well over this horizontal support area for both the Nasdaq and also the S&P 500 as well. And more interestingly for ASH and KWeb, they actually have a bearish market structure if you look in terms of the line chart itself. So potentially, even though it break to higher high, if this region is not supported, potentially this could be a false breakout kind of setting and then we could retrace further and reconsolidate back this region. So that is something to consider, especially even though horizontally it may have broken out, if you look in terms of this upward slope, we have not. So potentially we could potentially we could find support when it forms this kind, when it reaches near here as well. So that is something to take note of. So for this kind of slant or slope kind of trend line, I generally don't keep it there because slope trend line, as I mentioned, are highly subjective. I use that as a guide, but I don't usually trade religiously or say consistently for this kind of trend line. Alright, so for KWeb itself, similarly, it looks very similar to ASHR. We are forming a small little bearish market structure or retracement kind of pullback. It still looks without that healthy as long as it's forming generally a higher low in that perspective or at least finding support at this key horizontal support. And more interestingly on Bitcoin, it looks to be going the opposite of all the other market, which is what we typically want our Bitcoin as an asset that is non-correlated. And as to explain why I have suffering such great losses in this kind of period, I would say that you can notice over here that generally if you look on the shorter time frame, it tends to be a little bit uh, choppy in terms of the signal, so there's something that could be affecting it. And just to update, actually, more importantly, if you're just watching it now, that would be great because I've just entered a long setup on the, on the actually one hour chart because I'm seeing that the trend has broke out over here very strongly. I didn't manage to catch this breakout yesterday. Remember, I was mentioning that I will still wait for consolidation. So when there was this breakout when I saw, so I saw that I would, want, I would be willing, I, then, okay, so what, what? All right, so basically to go through, I saw this breakout and I wanted to wait for consolidation. That's always first thing. And then I saw this kind of rejection candle. So what I want to do is after the first rejection candle, I like to put a buy stop order right above the rejection candlestick. And reason being is that if it was willing to retest and re-break to higher high, then chances are it will be continuing towards the upside because even though it was rejected once, people are still interested to push it higher, which is towards the direction of the trend. So this means that the trend is relatively strong in the early stage of being strong rather than being rejected once and generally they don't retest. So for example, you can see here, if it was rejected once, generally it tends to not break above this high in the near term. But if it does break above, then I would lean towards further upside and momentum. So this is what I do. Similarly, you can see it was rejected once. Generally, I do expect some retracement. So what I would do is I'll put a buy stop order right above in this kind of scenario. So you could have entered over here as well. So for me, I generally only be willing to wait for only say three candlesticks thereafter. If it doesn't do that, then I would just cancel this buy stop order. And then now it happened on the next candle actually broke higher even though it was rejected again. You can see that we are retesting it again. So I'll say that right now in terms of price action, it does look really bullish and I'm willing to put a tight stop loss 
So the target will be around 12.2K. I'll be closing in in a very tight trailing stop loss manner for these trade in terms of price action wise. Yeah, so I would say entry upon the break of 10.86K with target one at 12.2K and a 50% trailing stop loss, or you can choose to take full profit as well and stop loss at around 10.67K. So that's basically the trade setup I have. So even though it looks really bearish right now, I'm um, no concern because ultimately this is a thousand day challenge. I'm closing into or close to 10% of it on 80, day 81. So there's still way more to go. And even if I do not reach it within a thousand days, I believe I'll continue to work towards the target uh, that, that, that is to reach my financial freedom in that sense. Otherwise, that's basically the update I have for you guys today. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.